This is lesson one in module four. And in this lesson, we're going to be identifying, drawing, and drawing points, lines, line segments, rays, and angles. I can designate a location on this blank paper by making a dot. And we're going to call that dot a point. And I can label that point with a letter so that I know which point I'm talking about and we'll call this point A. I could also find another point and label that one with another letter point B. So these dots and their letters are called points. Then I could draw a line to connect point A with point B. Now, these, this line ends at A, or starts at A and ends at B. This is called a line segment. Segment means a part of something. So a line segment is part of a line, and it has a starting point at A and an ending point at B. And we can abbreviate this by writing that beginning point and the end point, the two end points, and drawing a line on top. And we'd read this as line segment AB. Now I could find another point and label this one C. Now I'm going to also connect A and C, but this time I'm going to extend the line beyond the two points and put an arrow at each end. The arrow indicates that this line continues in this direction infinitely. There's no end points. So this is called a line. And we indicate which line it is by saying AC, which is two points on the line. We have A and C. And we show it as a line by drawing a line on top with an arrow on each end. Notice the difference between this and this. The AB is a line segment. There's no arrows. AC has an arrow at each end indicating that this is a line that's continuing infinitely in either, either direction. Now we're going to find another point. We'll call this one D. And this time we're going to start at point B and we're going to extend it through D and keep going and draw an arrow here. So this is called a ray. A ray has an endpoint, but it continues infinitely in one direction. So we're going to indicate this as ray BD and we draw a line with one arrow indicating that it has an endpoint but extends infinitely in the other direction. So notice the difference in the symbols. The line segment has no arrows. The line has two arrows and the ray has one arrow. Now we're going to show another point. Let's make this one point E. And this time again, we're going to start at B and we're going to extend to and through E. So we have another ray here. So this is also a ray BE. And the space that's made between two rays is called an angle. And this half circle that we draw is called an arc. So we can name this angle as one point on one ray 
the endpoint that's shared by both rays and then a point on the other ray. So this would be angle, our symbol for angle, D, B, E. The middle letter is always the shared endpoint of the two rays that form that angle. So we have some new vocabulary, line segment, line, ray, and angle, and we have the symbols that represent each of them, line segment, line, ray, and angle. Let's look at something else. This time, we're going to draw a rectangle. And we're going to label the corner of each rectangle, each corner of the rectangle with a letter. And we're going to think about these as being rays that start with A and extend and then B and extend in the other direction. So this angle here would be angle D, A as the common endpoint of the two rays, and B. So this would be angle D, A, B. This would be angle A, B, C. One point, the common endpoint, and another point. This would be angle B, C, D. And finally, angle C, D, A. So in each of these, the middle letter in the angle name is that common endpoint between the two rays. Okay, let's look at another one. Now let's look at some, some, a common shape that we already are familiar with. We're going to start with this T shape, then we're going to connect the points. to form a kite. We're going to label the points where the lines come together as A, B, C, D, and E. <clears throat> and we're going to choose to extend a couple of the lines a little bit further to turn them into rays. Let's take AB and extend it to make ray AB and then let's take line segment CE and extend it to make a line CE. So there's a relationship between line segments, rays, and lines. A line segment has two endpoints. A ray has an endpoint and then continues infinitely in the other direction. And a line continues in both directions. So on our drawing here, we could say that AD is a line segment. We could say A, B is a ray, and line E, C extends in both directions, so it's a line. So we can extend our line segments and turn them into rays or into line segments. Let's use what we've learned to work some of our problem set. So this says, to use the following directions to draw a figure in the box to the right. Draw two points A and B. Now, your two points and my two points may not be the same, but that's okay. 
So you're just going to choose two points. And then you're going to use a straight edge to draw a, notice what this says, ray between A and B. So the little arrow on one end tells us that we have an endpoint of B, of A, and then we're extending it through B as a ray. Then it says draw a new point that is not on AB. So again, you can choose any other point and label it C. Then it says to draw AC. And if we look at the notation here, we see there's no arrows at all. So that means our line segment starts at A and ends at C. No arrows. Then E says to draw a point not on ray AB or on line segment AC and call it D. So again, you can pick any other point that you want and label it D. Then this tells us to draw a line. Notice the arrows on both ends. So we're going to connect C and D, but we're going to extend beyond C and extend beyond D because it said it's a line. Then use the point you've already labeled to name one angle. So when we make a little arc, that tells us we're talking about that angle. And this angle would be formed by A, C, D. So we'd call this angle A, C, D. You might have chosen another angle. As long as it's an angle formed in your shape, you can use choose any angle you want. So pause the video and try doing number two by yourself. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to draw two points, A and B. And again, your drawing may not look exactly like mine, which is fine. It depends on where you locate A and B. The most important thing is you're noticing the notation here and making sure the Line we've drawn AB is a line segment, which means it starts at A and ends with B with no arrows. Then it says to draw a new point that is not on AB and call it C. Then it tells us to draw a array BC. So we know we start at B as an endpoint. We go through C and continue to make ray AB. Uh, BC. Then we draw a new point that's not on AB and it's not on uh, ray BC. We'll label it D. Let's call this one. Then it says to construct line AD. So we're going to go from A to D, but we're going to extend past D and expend, extend past A because it tells us to draw a line. Then it says to identify D, A, B. So that would be this angle, D, A, B, by drawing an arc to in indicate the position of the angle. And then it says to identify another angle by referencing points that you've already drawn. So we could, let's do C, B, A. So this would be angle C, B, A. And again, as long as you've done what it says in the directions, your figure will probably not look like my figure, but that's fine. Let's go on to the next problem in the problem set. This one says to observe familiar objects, label some points on each figure then use those points to label and name representations of each of the following in the table below. A ray, a line, a line segment, and an angle, and extend the se segments to show lines and rays. Again, for this, what you do and what I do may not be the same, but that's okay. So pause the video and follow the directions for each of the three figures. Okay, let's look at the house first. Let's label a few points. Let's make this point A. 
this point B, this C, this D, E, and F. And again, yours can look different, that's fine. So for the house, for a ray, we know we're going to have one endpoint. And so let's extend this line out to make ray AC. And then let's extend B, C to make a line. And we show it with an arrow on both ends. Then a line segment. Let's do F, E, and F for the side of the door with a straight line over the top to say that there's endpoints, it's a line segment, and an angle, let's look at this angle. So this would be angle B, A, C. And again, as long as you identified each of these four in your house, it doesn't matter if yours is the same as mine. Let's do some points on the thumb drive. Let's do A and B and C and D and E. So for the ray, let's extend D beyond and we'll make this ray AD, I'm sorry, CD. Then line segment, let's extend A and B to make line AB with two arrows. And let's do BC as a line segment. And let's do this angle. So that would be angle A, B, E. And finally on the compass rows, let's do A, and B and C and D and E. For the ray, let's, ex let's start with B and extend through C to make ray BC. For the line segment, the line, the line, let's extend both D and E to make line DE. And for the line segment, let's do another point up here. And we'll have AF be a line segment. And let's put a point in the middle here and make that G. So let's make this an angle. We'll do angle C, G, D. So C, G, D, this would be that angle. Okay, and that's the end of lesson one.